Hello everyone, Pixel Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest Between a Rock. This quest is considered experience difficulty and is medium length, about 45 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include 30 defense, 40 mining, 50 smithing, completion of the dwarf cannon and fishing contest quests, and the ability to defeat level 14 scorpions and a level 75 to 125 Arzinian avatar. The level will be dependent on how much gold you mine later on in the quest. The required items for this quest include pickaxe, four gold bars, hammer, ammo mold, and about a thousand coins. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have 43 prayer, an amulet of glory, slayer ring, several Falador and Camelot teleport tabs, home teleports if your house is set for Relica, Draymond staff or lunar staff, Ring of Cheros activated, weight reducing gear, stamina and super energy potions, per potions, weapon and fighting gear of your choice. For the first portion of this quest you'll be killing level 14 scorpions so bring gear that is light and leave your better gear in the bank for now to lower your weight. There are some maps in the description below that will help you to identify some of the key points of this quest. Open it up to keep it handy. You start the quest by going to the Keldegrim Mines, which are located northeast of Relica. The easiest way to get there is by using the Fairy Rings to code DKS. You can also use your Slayer Ring to the Relica Slayer Caves and walk north, or use a home teleport that is set for Relica. Once you are at the mines, enter the cave. In front of you will be two statues with another cave entrance. Enter this cave as well. Once through, talk to the Dwarven Ferryman who is nearby. He will ask to take you on a boat trip across the river. If you are wearing a Ring of Cheros activated, you can choose a Charm option to ride for free or choose Yes Please and pay two coins. Once you are across the river, follow the path to the east and continue walking all the way around until you come to a cannon with a dwarf named Dondekin nearby. Talk to Dondekin. When prompted, say, why are you firing a cannon at a wall? So why were you trying to get through the rock again? Sounds interesting. And I'll be back later. Be sure to check your quest journal to see if you have started the quest. Walk back around the path you just came from and talk with the Dwarven Ferryman again to get back across the river. Again, you can use the charm option if you wish. When you are across the river, walk west to the Dwarven Boatman and talk with him. Say, that's a deal, and yes I'm ready and don't mind taking a few minutes. A very long cutscene will occur telling you about Keldegrim if you have never been here before. When prompted, say, yes, I will do this. Walk to the Trading Consortium on the west side of the river and go to the Anvil. This location is included in your maps. When you're there, talk to the Dwarven Engineer. He'll tell you to speak to Rolat, who is located at the Dwarven Mine. So teleport to Falador and walk northeast to the Dwarven Mine. Once you are at the Dwarven Mine, there will be two houses nearby. Enter the Eastern House and talk to Rolad. He will ask for you to find three pages for a book. Use the ladder nearby and enter the Dwarven Mine. The first page can be found by killing scorpions in the southeast portion of the mine. The second page can be found by searching the minecarts. The third page is found by mining ore, however mining adamant and coal will not work. Once you have all three pages, talk to Rolad. He will take the pages and give you a book. You are then given two options, however don't click on any of them. Instead read the book and keep it for later. Now you'll need to go back to Dondekin. If you have access to Slayer Rings and Fairy Rings, you can teleport to the Relic of Slayer Caves, walk outside and use a Fairy Ring to code DKS, or use your Amulet of Glory to Edgeville and use that Fairy Ring. 
Once there, walk along the path and talk with Dondekin. Say, what have you tried so far? And what else did you try? A small cutscene will occur. He asks for you to bring an item that is stronger than rune or granite. This is where your gold comes in, which is funny because gold is extremely soft. Anyways, you'll need to get to a furnace. I suggest going to the Edgeville furnace since it's easy to get there with an amulet of glory and has a fairy ring nearby to get back quickly. If you don't have fairy rings and have completed the Fremenic Trials quest, you can use the furnace and relica. Once you are at the furnace, use your gold on it. It will ask if you want to make a golden cannonball. Say yes. When the golden cannonball is finished, you'll need to go back to Dondekin. Use a cannonball on Dondekin and say yes, I'm sure this will crack open the rock. A cutscene will occur and the cannonball will go through the wall. When prompted, say, so you want to fire me into the rock? And I can't argue with that, shoot me in. Dondekin will first ask for you to get four schematics and a golden helmet. The first schematic is given to you by Dondekin. The second one is given to you by the Dwarven Engineer in Keldegrim. You must take the ferryman's ride back across the river and then talk to the boatman to get to Keldegrim. Again, head to the anvil on the western side of the city and talk to the engineer to get the second page. The third page is found by tearing out the last page of the Dwarven lore book. Read the book, and once you're at the last page, a window will appear saying, That's odd, this page of the book has a very peculiar picture drawn on the back. Select Click Here to continue, and Yes to tear it out. The fourth schematic is found by talking to Korvac, who is located at the bar underneath White Wolf Mountain. So teleport to Camelot and use a shortcut that goes underneath the mountain to find him. Talk to Korvac and say, No, I've had enough of buying drinks for people, to enjoy some really funny dialogue about the alcoholics in RuneScape. He will then give you the last schematic. Click on one of the schematics to assemble it. You'll have to piece together the schematics in a way that makes sense. I have included a photo of the final image to help you out. In the bottom right hand corner are options to select which schematic you want to see and want to move. There are also buttons for you to move the schematics selected and rotate them. You can use the stick figure at the top as a good reference point for positioning all of the images. Once you are successful, the screen will show, that's it, it all makes sense now, if you were a dwarf that is. Now go back to the Dwarven Engineer in Keldegrim. Once there, use your gold on the anvil and make a golden helmet. Equip the helmet and do not take it off. Go to the bank nearby and gear up for the final fight. Also bring your pickaxe and food if necessary. As you are doing so, let's talk about the Arzinian Avatar enemy. He is a level 75 to 125 enemy. The level will be determined by how much gold you mine within the next few minutes of the quest. Once you are fighting him, he will choose the combat style that the player is weakest against. For example, if you are wearing melee gear, he will attack with magic. If you wear magic gear, he'll attack with range, and if you are wearing range gear, he'll attack with melee. If at any time you change attack styles, he will as well. He is also not weak to any style. You can also use your protect prayers to prevent attacks against you. When you are fighting the enemy, you will have a total of 8 minutes to defeat him, and if at any time you feel as though you will lose a fight, take off your golden helmet to be teleported out. Once you are all geared up, you will need to go back to Dondekin. To do so, you must talk to the Dwarven Boatman who is located on the northeast side of the river. Take the ride to the entrance of the caves, and then talk to the Dwarven Ferryman to get across the river. Talk to Dondekin and say, you may fire when ready. A cutscene will occur and you'll be inside the rock. You must mine at least 5 gold ore to fight the Arzinian Avatar who will be level 125. You can reduce the level to 75 if you collect 15 gold ore. When you have your gold, walk east until you come across blue flames. Left click on the flames to jump through them. 
After the cutscene, go to the next set of blue flames, right click and choose the talk option. The Arzinian avatar will appear and the fight will start. Once you have defeated him, you'll be teleported out of the rock. Talk to Dondekin to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received two quest points. 5,000 defense experience, 5,000 mining experience, 5,000 smithing experience, a rune pickaxe, the ability to teleport to Donakin's rock using a ring of wealth, and access to the Arzinian mine. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.